anything it just is what it is okay so and we're not doing a ton of layers of strawberries so you'll notice i don't have heaps of strawberries so it's totally fine totally fine okay and i'm not using all the water or the juice at the bottom that's because i'm actually going to use it on the top because these will keep doing their little thing um and so you'll notice like you know they just have a little layer of strawberry which is perfect okay. now i'm going to take my whipped cream I'm going to put a layer of whipped cream on top. And I normally just toss a dollop on each, and then I go back over, and I kind of smooth it out a little bit. Okay? Um, this is not an exact science. This is not anything fancy. This is just make it look the best you can. Um, so I'm just going in a little circle um, and smoothing it out. So it looks kind of like so. See, so you can see the little layers in some spots. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you know, if it, like this guy, you know, he goes up halfway, doesn't matter. Okay, it's gonna taste good in their mouths, and I don't, you know, th this isn't, this isn't five-star restaurant. I'm not, I'm not charging $300 to come to dinner at my house. So it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? But for a nice presentation, it just makes it better, in my opinion. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to even all these guys out. This guy needs a little more whipped cream, which is totally fine. Now we'll do this guy. He probably is going to need a little more whipped cream, too. Okay, so we're just going to even all these guys out and have them do their thing. Okay. So now that they're all evened out, so they all kind of look like that, okay? Now what you do is you take some more of your 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 um, stuff, your um, chocolate, and this time you're actually going to kind of lay it over. It doesn't need to be, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but make an effort to try and lay it over best you can. And so let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So you see how I'm taking this one and I'm, you know, just kind of slotting the pieces in there. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because number one, it's close to the top. Um, and number two, because you just, you just kind of want it to cover. Now if you have little like crumbly bits, okay, just toss them in there in the little open spots, okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want it to kind of sit flat-ish. Um, so you can smooth some more stuff on top if you want. Or, um, but what we're going to do with it is going to yummy so just make an effort to kind of make it flat ish um you know i still stick like kind of a handful in there and then i kind of move it around from there so um just do the best you can nobody's gonna um you know you'll get an a for effort if you try okay so it kind of looks like that now my bowl is empty so what i do mm -hmm, with these guys because see I now have cake bits I just take that whole bit and I just stick it on that's it so um so my really flat cake bits I just use them the second the second round to just give me that that top that I'm looking for um because it's just faster that way and so then I don't have to worry about um having a million and a half pieces of cake in my freezer um, it always looks nice and I don't have to really mess with it plus especially with the missionaries coming over they are they're such good boys and they just want to get fed that you just can't hate them for it so you know you just got to feed them good food and love on them a little bit and let them know they're doing a good job and they just they think it's great so um, so there we go. So I've got the little bits out and I still need a little more for my little guy. So the one I have, I still have one little muffiny guy left. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take from the bottom and I'm just going to kind of crumble it because it's, it's my small one anyway. So it's like half the size of everybody else's. Um, and then I just pull out all the little excess bits. I'll call it good. Okay. Perfect. Because again, it's mine, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so all of these, I'm going to see if I can show you. I'm going to pull you up. So all of these are kind of like that. You'll see they're all, they'll have little stuff at the top. Okay. So what we're going to do now, because I really have to wash my hands. I'm all covered in cake. 
Um, so I'm going to move my cutting board back here for just a moment. I'm going to wash my hands real quick because I touched my cell phone. And um, anyone who ever cooks will tell you, you touch your cell phone, always, always, always wash your hands. So make sure you do that. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. You can never wash them too much in the kitchen, so it's always good to wash your hands. Okay. Um, all right, so now that we've done that, um, I'm going to grab some raspberry sauce real quick, and I'll show you the raspberry sauce that I use. Um, I have used Thrive raspberry sauce, and it's really lovely. Um, the biggest problem with the, um, the Thrive raspberry sauce um, is that I just I don't have a can of raspberries that I'm ready to open right now, and I don't want to have to boil it down, whatever. So... I really like this brand. Um, it's a Smart and Final brand. So let me go grab it real quick and then I'll be right back. So hold on. Okay, so I lied. It's not raspberry. Um, I was smart and I got the strawberry sauce. My husband actually doesn't like raspberries. Um, crazy, I know, right? Um, I love raspberries. He doesn't. So, um, so I find myself constantly having to switch things up. Uh, normally I would do chocolate with raspberries with this. Um, but because... Um, he doesn't like raspberries. Um, I'm doing strawberries. So basically, it's this brand. It's the um, Leon's Lions brand, and it's designer dessert sauce. And it comes strawberry, chocolate, raspberry. It's good stuff. Um, the reason why I really like it um, when doing little desserts and stuff is because I can make cute little designs on the top, and it looks pretty. Um, the other thing is, is that. Um, I love about it, and I'm just getting little bits here off the top, um, is the, the cap that comes with that. So your cap comes, sounds crazy, but your cap comes with this little guy. I know you're sitting there going, well, but they all do. They don't. Um, the reason why I like it is because literally a little bit of pressure, a lot of pressure, you decide and it will make your design. So love, the, love these things. Um, they're also super fast. So over this chocolate, real quick, I'm going to put the last little bits of berry. Um, and there's not heaps of berry, so I'm just going to kind of dollop it in the center um, of each one. Just a little bit. Just a little. And if I don't have enough for each, that's okay. They only need like a berry, really. And a little bit of sauce. Like That's really what we're focusing on. And then you just want to drizzle the last little bit of sauce over and call it good. Okay? So there you go. So this is empty. Okay? And literally, I have some of these that have a bunch and some that has just a berry. Okay? Totally fine. No one's going to care. Okay, so now you take this guy. I know it sounds crazy. And you wait for him to come out. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. And it's a little thick sauce. So what I do is I just put a little on the top. And this is really just to add that extra little texture. And I really just do like a little circle-y guy. Like that. I don't know if you can see it. A little circle guy. Um, really it's just to make sure that there's enough strawberry flavor on it. You know, I could have done more Thrive Berries. I maybe should have, but I didn't. So you're learning how I, um, how I make do with what I have. Um, cause it's not always perfect and it's not always a science. Um, but sometimes literally my recipes are, oh, I have this in my cupboard and I can put it together. So that's what I'm doing for dinner. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little dollop of whipped cream and we're just going to give them all a little dollopy guy over the little bit of berries that they have. Show you a little trick. So, if you take your spatula and you get all the whipped cream to the edge, you can use your spoon to get out the little excess. So that way you end up with everything looking like it got spooned on, rather than it looking like. You had issues and that's what happened. So now I take this guy and I hold him way up high 
and I make sure I get my sauce down and then I go back and forth in a little, little cross hash pattern. I'll show you what it looks like in the end when I'm done because otherwise I will have too much of an issue getting it started again. And you kind of want to do it high because then you get a better um, a better drizzle. Um, if it's warm, like if it's room temperature and stuff, you'll be better off. Um, but it's just it's just up to you and what works best for you. So you know, for me, I find if I hold it higher up, then I have an easier time. Um, but you do need to go up and clean up little excess that you get on your bowl. Okay. Just make sure that you do that. Okay. So what they end up looking like is they look up something like this. You know, so they have a little bit of, of strawberry drizzle on top, which is what we want. And then what I'm going to do, because I have a little bit on my fingers, I'm going to wash my hands again. Um... Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little page of our orange zest. I have to make sure that that's the orange. I have to put them next to each other. Okay, so I take just a little bit of my orange zest, and I'm literally just going to pinch because um, it's easier for me to just pinch. And I'm just going to pinch it over the top. Um, it's automatically going to reconstitute a little bit as it's sitting there um, dehydrated. The other thing is, is that when it comes time to eat, it's just going to add that little bit of citrus that we're looking for, like that we get from zest, right? But instead, it's just a little dusting. Um, I really like this because, um, like I said, it'll reconstitute or it'll just at least give it flavor, which is really what we want anyways. Um, and it just kind of gives it that lovely... Um, I just love the smell of citrus. It smells so good. Okay, so we're going to do that. The other, the other option you can do if you want it, um, which a lot of people do, is they'll take the strawberries, um, they'll powder them down a blender, and then you can drizzle those on top too. It's just up to you and your preference, but that's basically what they look like. So there we go. So there's my little tartlets. Um, you can see like the little layers, and it kind of comes through, and it looks a little fun. Um, but the best thing is, is that like they taste so good when they're done, and you just put them in the fridge, and then when you're ready to serve them, you serve them, and they're good to go. Um, but I don't know anybody that doesn't love them and can't eat till the last drop. So there you go. Anyways, so if this worked out, I'm going to check it. If, if this all worked, then I'm actually, when I do dinner, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just kind of move my Thrive stuff and then you can see my stove and, and we'll get cooking. So anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.